Welcome to GDs to the Vorpal update of Nova Drift. That's right, Nova Drift has gotten another new major update, and the last one was back in April, so this is a big one. Introducing new weapon gear, swords, a super mod, void slice, reworked another super mod of antimatter rounds, ally upgrades, blast overhaul, and a whole bunch of other balance changes that have come to the game. It has been a long time coming since we've actually seen a good update for this game. It's been an early access for the long time. I think this is gonna be a really good addition for it. So hey, today's today's kind of the whole main concept is the swords. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a look and do this immediately. We are going to be doing Danger Zone. They advance faster as enemies enter the frame more frequently, as well doing the enemy territory. We start the wave at level 12. So we can go ahead and kind of get this, this whole process done a little bit faster. We still got our Wild Net of Morphous and Endless Mode. So let's get started and see what we have. So starting out, we are starting out with just our regular, you know, firing around at the enemies. So easy. And let's get our upgrades. Swords. Assemble and wield a pair of monomolecular double-edged swords. Attack speed scales with rate of fire modifiers to both weapons and constructs. Modifiers above 100% increase damage instead of attack speed. Noted. So anything above 100%, yeah, okay, it's, it's going to do, okay, nice, nice. Damage increases as your speed does. Very good. And scales with 25% of crash damage modifiers. Oh, now that is good. While attacking, swords wielded by you destroy enemy projectiles and explosives and retaliate with sparks that are affected by your projectile mods. Ooh, so wheel by you destroy enemy projectiles. So anytime we destroy a projectile, explosive, or anything that is being launched at us, or even like sometimes like those enemies that kind of like launch a whole bunch of like spikes everywhere when you kill them, they are instead also going to be making a whole bunch of projectiles outward into kind of like a big like arc pattern and just take out other enemies. Very nice. We only have a one construct limit. So that means that we're not going to take any turrets or drones. Additional cannons increase pairs. Very well. Okay, that should be noted. Spark damage is 50% of base damage, rate of fire, all that fun stuff. Assembly time is four seconds. Okay, so additional cannons increase the pairs of swords that we have, and we can't get anything like turrets or drones. Very well noted. So what do we have here? Okay, no, <laughs> I, I have swords. These, I, I, I'm literally just, go, I'm just literally just swinging swords at these guys. Now, isn't that just beautiful? Why don't we go ahead and take a look at what kind of shield we have? I'm thinking... What do we do with shield warp? When destroyed, the shield teleports you forward a distance equal to the shield effect radius, creates a deadly pulse at origin and destination points, dealing 750 blast damage each. Ooh, okay. If your shield breaks while it protects you, you will be intangible intangible for almost a second while teleporting. In this state, you may control the position of the destination point. Should be noted. Okay, so we're gonna be invulnerable for about one second every time that we, hey, let me go ahead and get this orange little box here, some more XP. Nice. And take a couple of upgrades. What do we have here? What kind of body do we want? Hmm. A Sentinel, Effect Radius, Shield Power, a Spectre for Cloak Time, a Carrier. I don't think a carry will work because again, we can't do drones. We got so we can also re-roll. Are there other body types that we might want to do here? Firefly, Architect. Ooh, Architect. You can only deploy one construct at a time, but that is because of maybe it's because it's just the architect, right? Your constructs have a 50% improved damage, rate of fire, and assembly speed. Your constructs have 30% maximum hull and mine effect, and constructs have 20% size. Now, the swords, do the swords count as constructs? Yes, it is a type advanced construct. So doing this, they have improved damage, rate of fire, and assembly speed for the swords. I've, I, they have more hull and mine effect, I suppose, and 20% size. Oh, <laughs> yeah, now we are talking. We got ourselves a pair of beautiful swords that can just swipe through anything. I am loving this. Targeting, improved thrusters. Hey, 25% more thrust. We get more damage the faster we go with swords, right? 279 damage for a single swipe of these. That is amazing. And you can even see there we got some more projectiles kind of flying off on the screen as we kind of destroy those little, those little mine looking type of uh, enemies there. And what do we have here? Ooh, durability, maximum slipstream. Recursive, I don't want anything like that. Well, hang on, 7% thrust rotation. This mod may be taken multiple times. Thrust and rotation speed. I mean, more movement speed in general. I gotta say, you know, that's, that seems pretty good. And rotation speed, but less friction. So I guess we slide around a little bit more. Oh yeah, look at these little kind of little projectiles that we just fling up. Can I hit the other one if I go ahead and aim right around here? It's gonna launch. Oh, I can't quite get in time, but it does launch them out and kind of in a big spiral kind of pattern almost. Take these guys out. Ooh, they do not go down on a single hit, even despite taking 270 damage. Take out this worm, though. Oh, look at all that beautiful XP. That is amazing. What do we want here? Weapon projectile size, weapon damage, weapon blast radius. Now, oh, yes, more, please. I want more size. I want more damage. And hey there, buddy. 320 damage per slice per sword. 
and hitting him with two swords. He's taking 600 damage per second, and the first boss is taking out absolutely no time at all. <laughs> now that, that is good. Let's go ahead and get rate of fire so we can swing our swords even faster. Pick up these orange boxes, even more XP kind of sit down here on the side. They're kind of flying away from me. Got another out. Got another upgrade as I ram straight into a mine. And these these swords are amazing. Go ahead and knock these guys out in the area. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got one little orange thing down here in the bottom and I miss it. Come on. Okay. And swing early. Beautiful. Now, what do we have here? War pass, scorching wake. You know, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to get Scorching Wake. Your thrusters launch fireballs that deal burn damage. This thing can be taken multiple times. Yeah, sure. Why not? You just a little bit of kind of random fireballs that go on behind me as I fly around. That should actually, that could work out pretty nice considering the fact that I'm always having to face forward with my swords, right? Since I'm always going to kind of have to face forward what I'm trying to hit, may as well. And burst fire. Weapon fire rate, burst fire, maybe taken multiple times. How does that affect a sword? Why do I only, have, okay, okay. I have two swords again. Wait, does it, does it actually... It swings them twice. Hang on, I'll try to stop moving so I can make it easier for myself when I edit. It actually swings them twice now when I do that. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's doing four swipes at the same time. Oh, that is amazing. That is a good burst fire. Oh, you're gonna spawn in a little tiny mini boss? Nope. Are oh, you gonna spawn in that little mini boss? Nope. Oh, I, I, oh, it actually got in between my swings there on the burst fire. Beautiful. Go ahead and take this guy out. Another, yeah, he's taking four hits each time. That is amazing. Ooh. Phantom Strike, if the target's still alive after you deal crash into it, cause you to teleport to the opposite side of it, aim and fire. Okay, so if I crash into somebody, it's just gonna automatically teleport me and just wing at them for me. It's, it basically becomes a, oh my wa, no shinduru, nari? <laughs> just stab him and just stab him in the face. Actually, the back, stab him in the back. Okay, the swords can be able to take this guy out, no problem, right? Yep, yep, a couple of swings and he's still alive, but another swing right through his face and he is gone. He is gone. We can do another Scorching Wake. Pull or reverse your knockback and pull directions increase blast radius. Ooh, that can pull directions for you and your constructs, but I don't have any knockback. So why don't I go and just get more blast radius then? Because I mean, more blast radius in general, I don't know if I necessarily do any blast damage, but maybe later on when I actually, you know, start doing stuff when I, you know, blast damage when I hit them, then sure, why not? Go ahead and take out these projectiles in the area. He's flying towards me. Nice, nice, nice. Take out all these bombs that are kind of sitting around as I actually managed to just Oh, take out those snakes. Don't you dare. Got a bolt on those guys. Don't even, even, no, 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 no. And, oh, and another swing. <laughs> Volley, masochism. I don't need no masochism. Your body gear base stats are improved by 10%. Your body gear powers improved by 15%. Enemies encountered are always elites or champions. Oh, uh, uh, ooh, uh, you know, let's just, let's just do volley. More weapon projectiles. Yeah, sure. That seems good. You know, more weapon projectiles. When I go ahead and knock, uh, you know, hit projectiles and I make more splinters, that's just gonna be more splinters kind of, kind of just thrown off into the area. Hit all those. Yeah, that's even more splinters. I literally create a wave. I just like, oh, what are you? Okay, we actually have a big main boss. Yep, we have the big purple guy coming along with for us. I'm gonna just smack him as much as I can. I can even hit those nodes from the outside with my sword. Okay, I gotta be careful about this because yep, I got a giant purple laser in my face. But I can take these guys out pretty easily from the inside. There we go. Doing some massive damage to this guy. I want to get rid of these nodes before before we start spawning in a whole bunch of projectiles like that. Okay, get on outside. Get outside. Take out these enemies. And I think I just smack him a little bit and he should die. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like that. And come back here, little orange worm. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Lots, lots of enemies. Lots of enemies. Keep on swinging. Dodge that. Keep on swinging. Keep on swinging. <laughs> go ahead and take him out. Nice. Okay, what do we want here? What do we want here? Payload, weapon damage, projectile size, weapon blast damage. It, sure, less rate of fire, but you know what? More, more damage in general and also bigger payload size. I don't know if that necessarily makes my swords bigger. They seem a little, ow, ow, ow. They seem a little bit bigger. Thank God for that automatic teleport to the other side and swing ability. That was kind of nice. Just swings for me, which is, you know, the whole point of it. And just barely on the range. If I can make these swords even bigger and bigger, I can really keep my range away from these guys and just try to hit them before they even get too close. Nope, not you, buddy. That was a lot of 500 damages on that guy. He is not going to survive. That is beautiful. Take all these guys out in a single swing. Get to the other side. Take out these projectiles with my swing. I do need more rate of fire, though. I do kind of wish I could fire this thing off just a little bit quicker. Just a little bit quicker. It would be kind of nice. Oh, okay. Okay, I cannot hit you from... Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I was gonna say, can I hit you from the front side? Because technically I have to, 
you know, you have to hit them in the backside to do damage to them. But if you can just, you can swing so far, they were actually hitting them from the front. Yup, yup, just like that. Teleport to our side and swings. Now that is a nice little mod. Um, propulsive munitions cause you to gain weapon damage, recoil, and rear firing. I don't want anything about that. Global damage increases as your speed does. Sure, yeah, that's pretty good. Velocity? Rare my I want battle size, but plus two percent damage taken from enemies. Uh, I don't I don't think that's gonna do much for me. Elgin construction, maximum hold, 10% construct and assembly speed, plus five percent total construct assembly speed per your level. Okay, but you know, let's let's say let's say velocity, more weapon damage, and they swing a little bit faster. Why not? Why not? That seems like a good one. Could kind of add on top. Just like my sword hits my target a little bit faster. I don't have to worry so much about you know when I swing and maybe missing. Okay, we got a whole kind of bunch of enemies there. I can just go ahead and don't even have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about it. Nice. Even if he slams into me, it just teleports me to the other side out of harm's way and gives a nice good swing at him. Celestial Lance. While moving at high speeds, create a searing arrow that burns both you and nearby targets. I don't want him to do self damage. That's just, that's going to kill me. That's really going to kill me. Your weapon projectiles splinter into weaker mini projectiles when destroyed. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Minus 15% weapon fire rate, though. Ooh, I don't really want that. You know, we got seven rerolls. Can we get something for like more rate of fire? I suppose let's do weapon targeting, right? You know, we don't really send off a whole lot of projectiles, but you know, when we do, it would be nice if they kind of homed in on nearby targets instead of just being randomly thrown about in like, you know, just a rainbow fashion of a direction. Take him out before he even gets a chance to fire at me, please. And then also thank you if you are oh so kind. And hey, you know, DigiDs, if you are liking this type of content, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment down below on why it is you enjoy watching Nova Drift, why it is you watch the channel. You know, in general, give me some pointers. Let's go, no, let's not go towards the black hole. <laughs> let's not go towards the black hole. <laughs> leave a comment down below on why you enjoy Nova Drift or anything of the sort, really. And of course, subscribe to the channel while you have the chance. If you find yourself coming back for more content just like this, because I want to experiment with this a little bit more. You know, I got a little bored of Nova Drift. We did recently come back to it, but now that we have a brand new, awesome kind of update going along with this, we may as well. Double tap. Wait, it can be taken multiple times. Plus one burst fire, 7% weapon fire. Does that mean I swing three times now? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does mean I swing three times now. Ow. Okay, okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and be a little bit gentle about this. And by, and by gentle, I mean... Well, that wasn't so gentle, that wasn't. <laughs> that was that was amazing. So basically what happened ow, 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 ow. Oh god, what happened there is that each time I tech I kept taking crash damage, it was teleporting me behind the enemy and swinging on him. And then every single time it teleported crash into me again, I just teleported again and just kept swinging on him. And especially with this, when your shield breaks. When your shield breaks, you also teleport to where you're kind of looking and it swings on him. You also do burst damage. So that was that was a failure of my ability to dodge things. Okay, you are getting a little bit close. I thought you would have been dead by now. Just like that. Going to take you. There we go. Time for another upgrade. Ooh, burst fire. Hang on. We got more burst fire. The weapon ra rapidly fires and then occurs a cooldown equal to the cumulative uh, cooldown of shots fired. Plus two burst fire plus 20% weapon fire rate. Ooh, I don't know because it says it says it incurs a cooldown equal to the cumulative cooldown of shots fired. That's going to be like that can be like five shots. Why don't we? Why don't we just? Why don't we just go ahead and just let's do homing strike? You know, we could do elegant strike. Let's do homing strike. So maybe the little splinter shots that we kind of lay off in the area like this. We're actually going to go ahead and <laughs> yep, look at that, and they all home in on the enemy. Oh, that is a beautiful. That looks like almost like a Christmas tree splinter cell type of situation of just absolute beautiful magnitude of size. That is amazing. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. This is such a great weapon. Oh, you're going to launch something at me? Nope. I got swords. Oh, you want to hit me with that? Nope. Swords. <laughs> oh, come back here. Come on. Lay off another shot. Where are you? I'm waiting for you. You want to shoot something at me? Nope. Swords. Oh, 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 you want to shoot something? Oh, come back here. Oh, I want to hit those. I want to hit those projectiles. Fire and array. Plus 20% total weapon projectile damage and blast rate for center projectile. Weapon projectile size. That seems like a lot just for more projectiles. And we do love our projectiles when we have especially enemies like this. Go to swing on that. And they're hitting stuff outside of the battlefield size that you can even see here. Nice. And they splinter off in even more directions. That scorching fire is pretty good to hit these enemies behind me. <laughs> that is... That is... That is amazing. Oh, oh okay. No, 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 no. It's also really good for these snakes. Oh, that is... That is superior. I can hit the whole snake in a single swing. Oh, uh, could you ask for a better weapon? We can also get more splinter here. 
rip them just splinter and weaker mini projectiles. Sure, yeah, but less fire rate. Again, not that good. Game resistance when you're not thrusting. Warpath, turret, deadly wake. Deadly wake we could do. And directors leave behind a trail that burns targets for 120 damage. Yeah, you know, let's do something like that. To get a little bit of a, yeah, get this kind of like purple trail going on. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing all that. And fusillade. Doubles base weapon projectiles plus one projectile. One plus one weapon projectiles minus 15% weapon projectile blast rates until it projects damage. Projectile size, whatever. 15% more weapon spread, whatever. More projectiles, all the better. That just means I'm going to be able to fill this map with stuff whenever I hit stuff away like that. That is going to be absolutely amazing, especially for, I think, some of the bosses. Yeah, look at that. It just splits off. Oh, oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. <laughs> now that. That is superior. Oh, you want to launch something? Nope. Projectiles. Oh, you want to hit me? Nope. Swords. Oh, you want to shoot something? Nope. Wait, do I have, hang on, this is a bit of a problem. Why am I constantly, why am I constantly moving in a single direction? I appear as though I have been, I have my thrusters stuck on. It's like the gas pedal is stuck on the ground. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Hit all these away, smack them all the way. Smack them all away. That is beautiful. We are doing this. Oh my God. I don't know why I seem to be stuck on a permanent gas gas to the floor mode right now, but uh, you know, hey, whatever it is, what it is, I, I can kind of work with this. Calibrate reduces your weapon spread while improving total targeting and velocity. But what is that really going to mean in terms of sword? I would rather get something like heavy caliber. Sir, should we have less velocity and rate of fire, but we also owe weapon recoil? Hmm. Weapon damage and projectile size. Let's do calibrate. I don't know what calibrate means in the concept of, you know, doors, because I, there's nothing really to calibrate here, right? That just mean it has like, it's gonna smack towards the center a little bit better. I'm not entirely certain. Doesn't seem to be doing necessarily a whole lot with it, but my God, I love seeing all of those. When you're not thrusting, 50% shield damage resistance. When you're not thrusting, 50% damage resistance. It just takes 2.5 seconds to reach full power. When I am not technically thrusting, when it's just doing his automatic thrust like this right now, this counts as me not thrusting. And I can tell because it is stabilizing. That little white circle in front of my ship that you can kind of just barely make out there, as you can see there, it only stabilizes when I'm not thrusting. And since me just moving around technically doesn't count as thrust, this is really just giving me 15% damage resistance to everything. Okay, now let's get that mine out of here. Oh, this is, yeah, it makes me a little bit more powerful. It makes me a little bit harder to kill. Plus 7% weapon fire rate, one more burst fire. This can be taken multiple times. We need another burst fire in here. And hello there, Seraph. Yeah, hey, burst fire, burst fire. What are you gonna do about it? Burst fire. I'm gonna go ahead and, okay, okay. I am actually, you, I can't hit those away. I can't hit those away. Okay, okay, I can't hit those away. They don't count as projectiles. I thought they would have, but they do not. They do not. That, that, that that's probably counts as a projectile. So I can do, I can go ahead and dodge that a little bit. Smack into you, get another burst fire in, and he is taken care of. Yes, that's right. We have taken out the level 100 Seraph boss of this easily without any worry in the world. Oh my God. And we are still only sitting like 20 minutes for an episode. We still got a little bit of time left before, you know, anything stupid happens, which, you know, something stupid does usually happen after level 100, not gonna lie. Especially with the way that I can't stop thrusting. I need to stop running into things. It's really hard to not run into things when literally you have permanent boost. It, it, it just, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. I, you know, I don't know what else to do about it. And I, you just have to, have to pray and hope that you don't run into it. Masochism, emergency system. If your shield breaks while it protects you, trigger an emergency system. Emergency system provides damage and collision immunity for almost a full second. Grant 25% total thrust and regeneration rate. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm going to take regeneration rate over anything, especially when my shields break. That seems like a really helpful kind of wild mod. I still need better rate of fire because it is taking quite a while. It is taking quite a while before I'm able to swing in between each of these kind of like just like swings of the enemies. Ow, ow. Hit him in the, oh, hit him in the back. <laughs> that is, I saw that. It gave him a little sound of like ding, 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 ding of just how many it was just actually just going ahead and launching at him with that burst fire. That is amazing. I really wish I could stop moving. I really wish I could stop moving. Hit all of those away. Singularity detected. Yeah, yeah, black hole, black hole. Black hole sun, won't you come? Show me we the ways. Black hole sun, won't you come away from me? <laughs> As I accidentally fly into it. Uh, am I gonna get copyrighted for that? Don't worry, I think I sung that song incorrectly anyway and poorly enough that it probably doesn't even matter.
but that is a good song which by the way to any of you who may not know chris cornell black hole sun is it is it chris cornell or is it soundgarden i know that chris cornell was in soundgarden he was their main singer so i don't remember exactly what I, if you just reach chris cornell black hole sun, or just look up black hole sun, i'm pretty sure it's chris cornell blink can they build a tober ahead of you becoming intangible for a moment no thank you streamline more thrust yeah, why not? Let's get more thrust. More thrust means more damage, right? But also, actually, now that I think about it, it also means that I can't stop moving even faster. Ow, ow, okay. Hey there, buddy. Uh, what are you, is, is, can I help you? Hey, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Ow, sir, sir, and, and, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> I, I don't even, I don't even know what just happened. Supermon unlock slush shield surge causes you to launch a burning orb and stabilize when slush shield lands. My God, weapon gear, a torrent, close range, widespread, rapid fire, lattice of energy. Okay, seems like, seems like electrical power, like Emperor Palpatine. No, you will die. Okay, there we go. That was amazing. About 25 to 26 minutes there. Maybe I already need to cut anything out. But you know, hey, again, leave a comment down below on what you want to see in the new Nova Drift update, on what type of stuff you want to see with this type of content, and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and you know all that crap. And my God. What is going on behind me? <laughs> oh my God, there's so much going on back there. <laughs> well, thank you, DigiDs, for watching the video. I, I still don't know how to do any of these outros, but if there's one thing I can always guarantee you guys is that I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and bye bye